Hello everyone guys welcome back to my YouTube channel. The recent remarks by the guru militia man underscore the critical importance of Iraq's readiness to compete on the global market. According to him, Iraq cannot effectively integrate into the global stage without robust electronic communication platforms. These platforms, he emphasized, have rapidly evolved to include e-government and e-education systems marking substantial advancements aligned with global standards. Notably, the implementation of RIC systems, especially the ISA system at borders, signifies adherence to global operational norms recognized by institutions like the World Trade Organization WTO. In a related development, an article from Ganda provides insights from an advisor to the Central Bank of Iraq. CBI. This advisor discussed the CBI's third strategy, which outlines a new methodology for financial and banking reform aimed at achieving its goals from mid-2024 through 2026. These objectives, originally outlined in white papers from previous years, reflect a concerted effort towards financial stability and banking reforms aligned with international standards. The advisor further emphasized that the current stability of the dinar's exchange rate against the dollar is robust and genuine, contrary to perceptions of uncertainty. However, economic researcher Ali Abdul Qasim offered a contrasting perspective on the stability of the dollar in Iraq. He argued that true stability would only materialize when the dollar returns to its official price set by the central bank, noting the current premium of over 15 points above the budgeted rate. This discrepancy highlights ongoing challenges, including influences from the parallel market and factors such as increased dollar supply for pilgrimages delayed budget implementations, and economic recession impacting import operations. Echoing Abdul Qasim's insights, economic expert Kaimo Echo emphasized that while the current stability of the dollar might appear stable, it remains contingent on supply and demand dynamics. Factors such as unhindered funds transfers abroad by banks reduce the demand for dollars, potentially lowering its price. However, obstacles in Iraqi banks, particularly in transactions with Iran, where Iraq imports substantial goods, necessitate constant market engagement to meet currency demands. In conclusion, while Iraq shows significant strides towards financial and banking reform, achieving true stability in the exchange rate remains a work in progress, influenced by a complex interplay of economic and geopolitical factors.